Hi, this is James Scott with Board of the Bayou. In this episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of, well, a box. Uh, the Too Many Bones Trove Chest. I am a huge fan of Chip Theory Games and all their products. I have pretty much everything they made. Uh, particularly Too Many Bones is probably on the top of my list of, the, of their products I love. Probably the only one little thing you ever probably hear people gripe about uh, too many bones is is the uh, setup and there's just so much of the product now, but I believe they've really solved it with this chest. I've been following the development of this. This box has probably went through as much development and design changes than probably most board games. So uh, I just recently got it in. I was uh, lucky enough to get it on the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter, we got it at a, a really good price. The, they came out with it and as they designed it, they just kept adding so much stuff to it. The, the retail version is gonna be a, a bit more, but it's, it's the same product. And those uh, people who are lucky enough to get off Kickstarter uh, got a fantastic deal on this thing. And as you can tell, this is out of plywood, or I don't know exactly the, the technical uh, term for it, but it, it is, it's not cardboard as they originally were thinking. It has graphics all the way around it. Now what they had done, I, I've seen uh, the do note that the they did not wrap this they they have them come to the edge and that was the, part of their design process uh i have, i see here there is a why i have to clean up a little bit of the, some glue here from the manufacturing and i found i think it's the edges i did find uh, looking at this that uh you somewhat maybe tell this edge is somewhat kind of roll, uh didn't quite seal all the way, but I'm probably gonna take like a, a glue stick or something and rub it there and get that to, to lay. Uh, this is the little magnetic. It's got a real strong magnet on here. Unfortunately, the one design part they really can't ever figure out is where to put this at. And the general consensus is you just set it on top or uh, there's a, you might be able to attach it to one of the drawers on the inside, but this is the the top. Let's see how this. Uh, so this slides up. It's got a nice uh, slotted. That's real nice. As you can probably see here, it is that board or whatever they use it, and it's it's black on the edges. So we got here. And you can see the, the detail on this is, is just phenomenal. They, uh, even on the inside. I wonder, wow, that's cool. I wonder if you could set this like this. And it don't sit quite right. I almost like, almost like the inside of, of it better than the outside. Did I get that just right? All right, let's see what we got in the inside of this. So let's slide this back a little bit. Now all these drawers, as I understand, should have supposed to have a, a oh, there it is, nice and strong magnet. Pull out the drawer. Part of the design, they put these uh, grommets, I see, in here that allow the air so it doesn't pull like a vacuum, so it pulls right out see in this drawer got some dividers oh these is that same plastic as they use the cards the uh, actually this is I got the various types it's dividers plus a bunch of blanks. I like that good feel to them. It's the, if you have the, the various different too many bones, it's the, 
the later plastic, the the newer one, which is not is not as not as slick as the the some of the earlier one, the plastic cards they use. Let's see here. Oh, okay, we got a bunch of stickers. I believe now these are the stickers that are going to go for the dividers, uh, the chip dividers, and then these are going. F believe these are for the um, tyrants. Their their uh, trays. So each of the tyrants going to have their their little tray here. So let's look. Pull these out. So these are just your regular stickers. Now these, if I remember from when I read, yeah, these are that good, really good type of sticker that they use on their same thing as they use on their, all their chips. Look, that's good. I right. got some more. Ooh, I like the way that looks. Let me peel this open here. Some more stickers. I don't know how well that will show up, but it's got a metallic sheen. And these are for all the various characters, including the new lab rats. Which if you got the the newest one that's that's uh, some of the new ones and it's got a real nice metallic sheen that's for the trays got some more stickers and these are the like a metallic version of it some more stickers so we got two two sets of stickers i'll have to look into that but apparently i guess there's two Two types. So if you prefer, I guess if you prefer one or or maybe for multiple things. Now what these are these little locks. As I understand, they're concerned that when you put this on, that it eventually may cause a wear there. So they made these where you could peel this off and put it where that magnet is, so that'll act like a little wear spot. Now, personally, I'm not going to probably do that. From uh, what I'm going to do is just keep using it like this. I don't, I don't see it really being a problem. But if what I'll do is, if it does start to wear, then I'll put the sticker on to to make the spot look better. But I, I do like that clean look as opposed to having that. But there's that option. Okay, here we go. This is a instructions on where everything goes so we'll put all this back in here i have to admit this is probably one of the few times i've been probably excited about an accessory than i am uh, about the game itself all right there comes another drawer and this one's another full again they got those circles on the back now these must be, wow, these are nice. It's got that lasted look, uh, too many bones. So these are for your individual dice trays and hold your chips for your characters. I think this will really help with setup. So you're gonna have your character, you're gonna have, every character is gonna have their own and hopefully they'll they'll start selling these for people that didn't get the troll just just to have these boxes are fantastic. I, the, I just love that design. That's some good thick plastic too. They they definitely went all out on those. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of those. Oh, fourteen. There's a side one here. So those 14, uh, pardon me, I can't remember. 
playing it. As long as I have, I can't just... Can't. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12 characters and 14, so we got, got a few for expansions. All right, let's go and pick this back up. Now I do notice just that the, the box itself is out of the plywood. But the, the trays themselves are, are cardboard, a little bit thinner. Makes them, it makes them a bit lighter. So this thing is extremely heavy, extremely big. If, I don't know how well it shows up on, the, on there, but this is, this is uh, extremely large. And if you have the IKEA, I forgot the name, the, the popular shelf there a lot of gamers get, this is actually designed to fit just inside there perfectly. All right, let's go for this drawer. Okay, this drawer, we got some more of these. Got the uh, empty plastic box for, don't know, I guess for forever. And got some of the holes. Now these, I, I really been, can't, I, this is a simple little idea I saw. I, I can't wait. I'm so glad that they did. There's, I don't know how these will show up, but they're chip dividers. So on the top, you can put the points and the type on here. And these, you can sit there and slide in there and be able to divide all your chips up and I think that's another one of those things that's really going to help with setup is being able to quickly have all your various baddies split up with these dividers instead of having to sort through them it should take up a uh, make it a lot quicker Let's see it's down here so it's, um, so it's just an empty drawer this is before putting stuff in all right down in this one all right now this one here has you see these little trays okay well, this be for okay I guess for looting uh, during play because it has uh, counters will go in here trove loot and loot I got the little, little engraving in it let's see what this one is oh that's a little uh little dice tray so this is where those uh, there's a couple of there's two of them this will be we'll put all your baddies in and what I like I was showing take these little dividers when you put your chips in there and then these will sit in there with the labels on it to to divide up each section Really nice, really needed. And of course, there's Chip Theory's name on there. I'm gonna slide this back in. Oh, get that down there. Now, the top section. All right, in the top section, here we go. Here we'll have for the, uh, these will be for the tyrants, the little plastic trays. So now, instead of having to dig through all the stuff, you'll be able to put the tyrants, and they put enough spot for, now they, some of these are, are, as I understand, will be used more than the others, and if you see, there's a little slot. So after you put your tyrants chips in here and the dice, then you can put the tyrants cards up top here, and snap it, and there's a little indented spot where you'll put their label and there's more than enough here for all the current tyrants plus any upcoming expansions as I understand and then there's this one and we have more tyrant uh, trays so we have a total of let's see three six nine ten 
12, 15, 18, 19 trays. So that's it after everything's all in there. Let's see how that makes sure I guess it's in there right. Now, again. And then the, you put the tray back down, or the cover back in the front, if you so choose. You could also do, as I understand, you could take, your, take it and lay it like that. And that way you have, have your front, uh, front there and still be able to get at it. If you want, you want to show the art. But other than that, you put that there and uh, store this here, I guess. And if you're wondering how that well that looks, a little brass or so that's James Scott with Board of Bio. This has been the unboxing of the Too Many Bones Trove Chest. Thank you.